This video is brought to you by T-Blocks. Enjoy the content now, but stay for the shilling later. Welcome to Lobster Magnet and Friends. I'm here with my buddy Zavul. Evening, folks. Isn't Zavul that way? And I'm here with my buddy Goro Gorgoro. Isn't in... It's not in a mind that way, or you, you no, got no, it, it's fine, oh. it's fine. I, I'm looking at it and, it and it's fine. I'm the one who's okay. it's Here great, it's great. Over this general, <laughs> okay. just leave it in, just leave it in, just leave yeah, it in. Fine. It doesn't matter, it doesn't okay, matter. It's nothing fine. matters. It's fine, it's fine. Look, 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 look. I, 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 I assume everyone right. knows what, what we all look like, it doesn't matter anymore. Nothing yeah. matters. So, you know, Zabul, you've not been around for the past uh, few weeks due to circumstances, life, and all that other fun BS. What do you think of these past few chapters of uh, of uh, you know last three weeks of One Piece? Uh, I gotta say, I, I'm I'm getting a little bit of arc fatigue. <laughs> I was kind of curious. Like we were having a debate about like, and it's interesting to read the comments. Some people were like, "I love Whole Cake Island," but I'm definitely of the arc fatigue because last week's chapter, yeah. I have like such mixed feelings. Like you know, on one hand, it was like a really well done piece of like little compact manga storytelling. On the other hand, I do not give a shit about Pound. That almost right. made me care about Pound. Did it? Did, did it? Almost. Like, oh. Yeah. Mostly, I... mostly it made me care about uh, Beige more. <laughs> I'll it's be so... honest. That, that, that's really what, what, what it's like. That's really all that did. It was like, oh, man, that guy is awesome. <laughs> with, with, with the scene where he, he shoots the oven guy. He loves his family, and that makes me like him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it did do a great job of like getting you invested in his little little freaking like you know baby with the stubble and the you know the cigarette. God, I love that baby. <laughs> <laughs> like he just reminds me of Baby Herman from um, uh, Roger Rabbit. Oh God! <laughs> like I God. just keep waiting for him to like drop something. Like my Stogie. Bye! <laughs> 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 yeah, that that, that 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 sounds pretty apt. Um, because like you know, it was well constructed. As and, and here's another question: Do you think do, do you think Pound's dead, or do you think he's like Pedro? And do, uh, do, you, do you think we're gonna uh, make it to this arc with well, Pedro? Pedro Pound? hasn't been confirmed to be alive yet at all. Hey, no one, no one is ever dead in One Piece until you see the body. It's basically everyone in One Piece is like a werewolf, uh, is like a vampire. You you basically have to cut their head off, <laughs> stuff their head with garlic, and then bury the head and the body separately. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would love for Pedro and Pound. Oh, there you go. Oda killing all the P names. Uh, Pedro well, and Pound to be dead. Well, what if? Uh, I mean, case with Ace though. Like, how do you how do you define Ace's death? Like in terms of like. They cut off the head and and all that stuff. Well, like we got to see Ace, a hole punch through that him. That was on screen. Like yes. that was on like an screen. on screen death. We we saw him die. And then the media like said he died. Everybody in the war said he died. Everyone was just like he's dead. And he was left. His body was left there on um you know Marinford, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I unless you see like an obviously fatal injury on screen. It's a toss up as to whether or not they're actually dead. Just yeah. like 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 on screen, died. Everyone saw him die. Everybody reacted to him die, and mm. and yeah, he, ha he has a grave now. So it's like he's dead. Like yeah. hell, uh, way back in Alabasta, it's like everyone thought he died. He exploded. He got a grave, but we didn't see it on screen, so we ain't dead yet. Yeah, and then they. I think we it, need that on-screen death before I, I'm willing to commit. Oh, to maybe they need a grave. If, no, if no, they no, have a no. grave, Pell had a grave, and then Pell they had well, a grave. Wasn't it uh, the end of the anime when they showed him death. coming back? Yeah, you need an on-screen death, and you need like a grave, and honestly, um, voiceover narration doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> The, the voice of God, the the One Piece narrator who comes ever yeah, so liberally. Yeah, like the One Piece narrator, it's like describing how fucking awesome Whitebeard was. Uh, <laughs> and explain like after how he died, it's like thirty-two cannon shots, one hundred and fifty-seven sword. <laughs> it's like okay, yeah, he's dead now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but not a scar on his back from ever running away. 
Oh, God, that makes me tear up every time I watch it. Yeah, God, that was so... Ah. That was a good good, uh, good scene. But, but yeah, it, it goes to show you, like, what you need for, like, to confirm a One Piece character death. Considering... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, come on, even, even the fucking um, uh, Devil Fruit users, like, Wapple, uh, after Luffy just, like, cannon punched him off the fucking island towards what should theoretically be just an endless expanse of death as soon as he hits the water survived so i mean it, it uh, unless i actually see like actual confirmation that he's dead he ain't dead just like good old yep. jack remember uh that sub villain who was almost a villain kaido's like third in command who like uh, gets knocked uh. by the elephant and now he's just like sitting underwater waiting to be picked up oh yeah. but isn't he a devil fruit these are two. He yes, should he just is. be drowned, though. But he's also now. a fish man, apparently. Maybe I've read somewhere on the One Piece wiki, so that's why he's, he's still a alive. Fish man? Yeah, because he's got like jagged teeth, like a fish man. Uh, so I, I don't know. I mean, there's but so even much fish weird. man devil fruit users still have the worry of being drowned to death. Like, there's uh, the well, guy... I don't think it drowns them. I think they that's can... actually an interesting question. Do they drown or are they just powerless? I think they're just powerless. The, the, the idea of like regular devil fruit users is they bec- they become powerless and they can't swim. So then they, while well, the fishmen, I guess they can still swim, but then they just become depressed and depowered. But we've seen a character like this before, a fishman with devil fruit powers. Remember, yeah, um, Vander, yeah, Deckham. Merman. yeah Deckham. the worst villain ever. <laughs> The homing dagger throwing. Oh god, that was the worst, <laughs> stupidest devil fruit that Oda like. I could have accepted that in East Blue, that like a minor subvillain who like no one really takes seriously. That that, that feels okay. like something that Buggy's crew should have had. No, yeah, I mean, okay, I can think of a worse one though. I mean, what the the bubble bubble fruit that Khalifa had that that was pretty fucking terrible. I, I thought that was kind of neat. I, I like no, Oda's that justification. Was terrible. Okay, she literally made. A, Made like sheep horns out of her arms. That was sad and pathetic. She scrubbed and people she deser- into like these terrifying bubble caricatures to like de strengthify them. That, that, that was Cooler interesting. Power. Like, I, I, it, she, it, she should have been an actual sheep. All the other fucking people got zone <laughs> powers. She should have just been a sheep. <laughs> but she, you know, scrubbed Sanji clean and she made San, you know, Nami clean. Uh, like, I, I don't think that's that the was worst. Just- Weird and awkward. No. Okay. You didn't I, like I did, paper did... fin Nami and how she used her weather fruit to like you know okay. de bubble fire. Yes, her? Nami's part of that fight was that Nami's part of that fight was cool, but on the other end of that, that was that was pretty fucking stupid. That I... that that said, I mean, I, honestly, the worst part of the fucking fish man having uh, having a devil fruit power is the fact that they literally can no longer take advantage of the fact. They are ten times stronger than humans in the water. When yeah. this entire arc mostly takes place in the fucking water. <laughs> it's Fishman Island, you idiots. That that's that, that, that's like that's like me eating something that, that that would make me like violently nauseous every time I was exposed to oxygen. <laughs> I kind of why wish we would had I like do a... that? I kind of wish we had like a better like way to scale like a a fish man's power in water to a although human. I have, like, although I am kind of curious, like, to, like how how much does a devil fruit depower um, to depower when you're in water? Because apparently Luffy can use some of his like powers in water now. Well, he can stretch a little yeah. bit, but he can't Ooh. like you know. I remember in Arlong Park where his head was like. His head was outside of water, but the rest of his body was in water. Well, no, I mean, like, you're, you're, like, physically, like, you're physically weakened. Like, how much does that physically weaken you? Like, like does, does that does that, does that just mean, like, the, the fish man is about as powerful as a normal human in water now? What the fuck is going on there? That is that why he just decided to cram that <laughs> oh, in his face? Same. Yeah, like, deciding, like, like, I don't know. If it was a powerful I, enough zone fruit, I could see a, a fish man going, like, oh, yeah, I gotta cram that in my face. Like what? What? What's that? I, I can have the. I. I, I don't fucking know. Uh, name something ridiculous. Fish elephant. I guess fish, so. Fish king crab. 
I, I, I would meant more like a zone fruit. Like, like I, I, like, fish, I don't know. Fish porcupine? I, I'm sorry, not zone. Um, logia fruit. Oh, like a, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that, that would make yeah, more sense. Name, name me a good logia fruit. Like, uh, a, uh, uh, the, the, NL's fruit, the, the, the rumble fruit, the electricity fruit. Oh god! Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. the whole water while you're okay. That walking. that would just be broken, though. That would be uh, awesome, actually. <laughs> but but let, let, you know what? Let, let's let's say it's like you get the uh, fuck um uh jam fruit. Sure, sure. Let's yeah, say you're jam. Fucking... Okay, you like that jam yogi of power. God damn it! Uh, wait, no, that that would be a paramecia since isn't um. Moichi, well, how yeah, about the but, mud fruit? Like that stupid, like you know, rapey McRape face, uh, Korbu. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's, let's. I guess the mud mud fruit might be worth it, maybe. And well, you just honestly, body, body would constantly be dissol- dissolving in the water, <laughs> like piece by piece. I think that's what would happen. Your body would like be constantly like uh, dissolving. Like honestly, if I was a if I was a fucking uh, fish man, I think I think where I would like draw the line is like is is it the is it Kuzan's power? Is it like the ice ice fruit? I I will like cram that right in my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty like good I, one. I I I would be willing to take that power hit if I was only as strong as a normal human in water, if if I could like use the ice ice powers and shit. Like, I, I guess there's there's like a there's, there's like a certain trade off, but. Man, does that um, does that target fruit just 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 dot cut it? No, no. All right. So bringing it back to this thing, are you happy about like Luffy's like realizing that like for him to become Pirate King that he has to like eventually face off against um, what you call it, uh, 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 Dogtooth? Yes. I, I I mean I do not understand how that would Although, that would not be a realization one because thing was... if he's gonna be pirate king he's gonna have to go through all the fucking yonko in the first place so obviously he's going to have to go through all the subordinates this is not hard <laughs> well true uh, i'm also kind of curious how did he get that so quickly back to the mirror world um you know from this chapter um probably I guess, brulee I, I guess he just like hijacked yeah. brulee and then went back into it even though he yeah they did I almost feel screening. sorry for her with the amount of just abuse she's taken <laughs> <in this arc. laughs> Just being dragged around with this like portable thing. Oh, uh, I love you... how she's become like a uh, you know comedic character now. Although, well, here's a question that I was kind of been dying to ask you. Did you like that chapter where like Luffy like escapes the Mirror World and then he's just like around all the like freaking strong commanders of like you know Big Mom's pirates and he's just like running for his life. <laughs> And it's like, you know, the stupid candy guy puts up a candy wall, then the giant snake neck woman, like, cuts it with her super <laughs> katana, and he's just, like, running, you know, completely, like, flat out, surrounded by monsters. Yeah, that was pretty amusing. But that was pretty good. you're still definitely suffering a little bit of arc fatigue, as we all are. Not, not yeah. me. Not me at this moment. Because, oh, <laughs> because one of the best, best saving grace of this arc is is Dogtooth versus Luffy. That is, like, a fight I really want to see, you know, all the time. <laughs> this, like, I love that fight. I love that fight so much. I just love that confrontation so much between Dogtooth and Luffy. It's, like, one of the best things that's happened in the New World, I feel. So you, you would take, like, six chapters or a whole volume of just, like, Luffy and Dogtooth slugging it out? Um... Maybe not six volumes. I don't want to go dress a rose. <laughs> no, Jesus but, Christ, no. But I can. I, I don't think you ever need that extra, again. I, I can stand a few more extra chapters of Dogtooth <laughs> versus Luffy. Like, also, like this whole we we didn't talk about this mink transformation yet. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're we're building up that. I just wanted to make sure we covered like the previous content before because of uh, Zavul's absence to get his thoughts on you know Pound and Beje and yeah, Beje's yeah. amphibious thing. But yeah, th- that was the big thing oh, in this awesome. chapter that we now ha- know that minks have like a Super Saiyan form, and you uh, know that's it- cool. This is it's cool to see like okay. Kara actually get some fucking use in like yeah that was pretty she- awesome and uh, does kind of lend credence to the idea that she might be joining the Straw Hats, Isaac. Uh, yeah, remember the prediction? I could see Carrot as a Straw Hat even Look, before I, I could see Carrot and Jinbei joining the Straw Hats because well, eventually Jinbei's you're going gonna- to. She was accepted and he has a crew as the helmsman yeah yeah i'm sure carrot has a purpose 
Yeah, she, she tear it. Have a purpose. She's like a dumb character who didn't even know how big the <laughs> sea was. It's like, I, all I need is just sandwich to go <laughs> oh, fight come Big Oh, Chopper is. She had electric Chopper powers too. Like, yeah, she has electro and all that other stuff. Uh, uh, acrobatic like, skills. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what the hell she's doing, but let's 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 apply that to your favorite character, Isaac. What the fuck is Usopp's use? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. I, I like, do not I know, deny the fact that Usopp and... has become redundant and Frankie's been completely <laughs> unneeded. <laughs> he serves no I mean, honestly, I would be I would be like really willing to say she's like the cannoneer. Or he's the cannoneer of the crew. If they actually used cannons at all. No, no, no. Yeah. God, yeah. I, I, like, I kind of like wish we would get to the point where like shipboard combat actually felt important as opposed to like, you know, just yeah, like this. It, it never will because <laughs> you have the monster trio, and cannons just don't matter anymore. No. Yeah. I mean, maybe Zoro, maybe Zoro's once there. we get the like Vegapunks, um, shit, and and maybe if like ships come equipped with like heat seeking torpedoes, <laughs> <laughs> that might be important. <laughs> oh, or maybe like um, oh, sea stone cannonballs or something like that. Something okay. crazy like that. Yeah, but that 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 only eliminates one of the three monster trio. The yeah, other but Zoro can still slice them. Sanji I don't think he can, can slice through Sea Stone though. Like Sea Stone is like. I don't think Sea Stone's like red. that hard. I, I no, it he, is. Yeah. It's like hard as diamond. Like they <laughs> they they mentioned in like um, that Impel Down's all of Impel Down's like uh, jail bars are made of seal Sea Stone or something. Back Although, in, um, I said I, I would be interested to see like. Um, like a more technical use of sea stone, like sea stone grape shot. Yeah, that, that oh. would be interesting. Cause, like uh, that would be amazing. Like it's like ah, oh, we're fighting a bunch of devil users. It's fine. Just fire the cannons. We we have them like packed with like sea stone grape grape shot. I mean, they they're not going to be able to escape that shit. Because it is funny to see Oda like still like treat battleships like they're a threat, even though we know that they're like dwarfed by the people who have like you know. The magical equivalent of atomic bombs through their powers. I mean, powers. let's let's be honest here. <laughs> Battleship, like ships, are really at this point more like aircraft carriers. <laughs> they're not threatening in and of themselves, but they're mostly threatening because of the things that they have on them. <laughs> I think I think the equivalent of like um, you know some kind of a nuclear bomb in One Piece would be like uh, some kind of like explosive uh sea Who's stone that? cluster bomb kind of thing cannonball like a of shrapnel some kind. grenade that like sprays yes a shrapnel yeah, grenade sea stone grenade yeah. maybe capone has one i feel like he's the kind of guy who would like have that on his like ship but um so, so generally you guys are like very i mean you you, you guys enjoyed carrot's super saiyan transformation and oh, Zavil is yeah. more excited about the fact that, like, this means that, like, that Beppo pro- also has a Super Saiyan. Oh man, I'm so excited for that! I want to see, I want to see Beppo go like, like Super Saiyan. I want to see Beppo do like the fucking Saiyan monkey transformation. <laughs> and he's just this giant were bear who's just yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that is that is what I want out of my life right now. That would make me <laughs> so happy. You have no idea. Although honestly, I'm a little disappointed because. Apparently they can only do it like what every full moon? Jesus Christ! It's once a lunar cycle that sucks. Yeah, it is yeah, like the first power up. It is the worst time dependent power up <laughs> you could ever have. Like yeah. I, I, I want, I want them to be able to find a way around this. Damn, Maybe uh, like they could do some moon. kind of crazy shit like in Dragon Ball Z where they have a holographic projection of a moon. <laughs> yeah, that would be ideal. That would be fine. I would, I would be okay with that. Well. Look at it this way. By the time we eventually get out of this and we get to, like, you know, uh, the Wano arc and we get reintroduced by Beppo, enough time will be passed that Oda can play the full moon card and we can finally get to see what Werewolf Beppo looks like. Although, yeah. extra bonus points to the person who can link or draw Werewolf Be- Beppo, you know, full moon lion form down in the comments below. It's Su, su- Long form, I think. Su- long it's form. Called. Yes, in, the, exactly. in the manga. Yeah, anyone who can link Sulong uh, Beppo, you get a thousand bonus points for life. Yeah, yeah. I definitely want to see that too. 
Um, um, but, I, uh, I like this chapter, though, overall. Although, I mean, it was really cool, but didn't she really not do much? She just, like, punched a few mooks and, like, ripped off, like, uh, you know, the steering wheel, which I, I feel like doesn't really do much because it's only one ship and they're already, like, in position and, and they already have the Straw Hats surrounded. Um, yes, yeah, she has to do them to a whole bunch of ships, I think, but I don't know. Um, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. As like power ups go, like the design looks great. She looks like you know super badass in her hyper mega bunny sulong form, and she's like, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a good design. It's a good like, oh my god, she's fucking shit up. Oh, she's so powerful. Holy crap! Who would have known yeah. Carrot was like you know biting and tasering people? And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I assume that like this will probably like move her up into like an MVP for a lot of people's slots and. I haven't really looked to see if there's like a lot of carrot fan art. If, oh god, they're prob- like... they're a hundred percent probably is a lot of carrot fan art. But like, will we see like you know carrot cosplay? Like you know, I always find it fascinating that like you know generally you don't see a lot of One Piece cosplay, but you will see a lot of fucking laws. Yeah. You mean a lot of Luffy cat? No, no, like law, like Trafalgar law. You will see no, a shit ton of as law. As opposed to Luffy, you mean? Or... Yeah, yeah, you see ten times more laws than Luffy's or any other character. Okay, yeah. So, you know, that's an example of, like, one single aspect of, like, One Piece that has managed to, like, break out um, and, and become, like, more rat mass recognized. Will we be seeing, like, a shit ton of carrots now? Um, I think, yeah, it's definitely good up her cosplay popularity game for sure do you have any predictions evil do you do you, well you, you're on the carrot for should be a straw hat now i know? am <laughs> i am actually i mean that that i would be fine with that um i i think it'd be cool to have like a more melee member of the crew that like a, a, a female member of the crew that's also more melee oriented because we have two people uh both Nami and and Robin are both basically just like the equivalent of One Piece. They're like long they're magic, range. They're magic users, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that, that and everybody sense. else, like all of the other male straw hats, are just like punchity punch punch. Except Usopp. <laughs> except Usopp. And I think else. it would be pretty cool to have a straw hat on there. They can just get in there and just beat the ever loving shit out of something. And, and a female version of that, because obviously yeah, you yeah. Get a lot, I, I we, would we have a lot of male like a, I would love to see like a woman just get in there and just kick the ever-loving shit out of, like, uh, God, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I, I'd like to see Carrot beat the shit out of Horty Jones, but really, I'd like to see anybody beat the shit out of Horty <laughs> Jones. <laughs> anybody but Luffy, because he didn't deserve Luffy. No, he, he uh. did not. <laughs> Oh my god, it would have been so great if, like, the final battle between Horty Jones, like, wasn't against Luffy at all. It was just against, like, I don't know, Usopp or Chopper. I, I The best thing <laughs> w- would have been if Fishman Island ended when Zoro kicked Horty Jones' ass underwater. <laughs> because there's a scene where Zoro literally kicks his ass underwater when Horty Jones, after he's, like, eaten his stupid energy steroids, and then Horty Jones, like, eats, like, ten times more energy steroids and is able to break out of it. <laughs> yeah, Hor- Horty Jones sucks as a villain. What if, like, the whole Straw Crack crew was just, like, on, on, on their ship the whole time, and, you know, Chopper was the only one who had to deal with the fishman? <laughs> that would made this arc so much cooler! Uh, honestly, it would have just been hysterical <laughs> if, like, Luffy had walked out, used honker or conquer or hockey, looked around, and just went, I'm getting back on the ship. Usopp, can you kill these guys? <laughs> and just <laughs> left. And then the entire arc was just Usopp just kicking ass and taking names. <laughs> <laughs> because that's how little fucks the Fishman Pirates deserve. I, I, I saw, like, the. Uh... No! What happened? Oh, god, oh, god, oh, god, god, god damn it. Right. There, there we go. We're, we're back, we're back. So you really, right. you, you I, saw... I saw the I saw the other day, like, I, I think it was like a, co- a comment from Oda saying, like, that post time skip Usopp is as powerful as pre time skip Zoro. So I, I, I would just love to see that demonstrated at some point. <laughs> where just like Usopp just goes in, just like wreck shit left and right with Wait, like no fucks given. Where did you hear this? 
Um, it was an article. Let me. I have to be see if I can find it. This is like from Oda's mouth. Like he actually said that. That, that. That's a pretty big claim, though. Yeah. Because uh, from free time, Skip Zoro was able to fuck some crap up, even though uh, post time chips like. Post time skip Zoro has had no defeats whatsoever. Although pre time skip Zoro would get his ass handed to him all the time. Yeah. Well, not all the time, but uh, he, there were like a lot of scenes where you know pre time jumps or Zoro got his ass kicked. Well, let, let's let's count. There's Mihawk. There was Mihawk defeat. There was NL. What else? Oh, NL. Yeah, that's true. Um. He didn't get defeated, but Das Bones kicked his, you know, kind of bloodied him up brutally. Who's Das uh, Bones again? Uh, he's number one with the mis- the blade fruit. Oh, then, yeah. Then, then there's the famous it. scene on um, Thriller Bark where he sacrifices himself for Luffy. Uh, there's the oh. scene where he gets kicked, his ass kicked by uh, Rob Lucy uh, when the, once the CP9 is finally revealed. Uh, Rob Lucci is okay. awesome. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that's five times? Uh, there's probably more in between there, but that's just like all the times I can think off of my head. Uh, then there's the time he got his ass handed to him by the pacifista. Yeah, Zoro's Zor- definitely not had like an, an easy time in the pre-time jump. He, he, he got his ass handed to him a lot. He could take a lot of punishment. <sighs> well, if you do find that article, you can link it to us in the yeah, future. Because I'll, I, I'm I'll, really curious. I'll see if I can hunt around for it, because... Oh man, I, I I would just I would just love to have like a good like uh, I'd just love to have an arc of uh, just like watching Usopp just beat the shit out of things, <laughs> <laughs> just to demonstrate uh, earn it that like go- earn that god Usopp status. <laughs> oh man, well he should have against the fishermen the pirates. They they were all terrible. That was one thing I hated. How Oda like used the fishermen pirates as like this is how strong the Straw Hats are. They're taking care of these villains that they probably could have handled back in East Blue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wish they just, just like had a better comparison for like how the fishman, how strong the fishman pirates were. Um, like maybe take out like a pirate group that we already knew of. Like maybe but I don't know the, one of the other supernovas. The, the, something. The, all they did was like they beat up like some guy named Crab Hands, and, and I think that was the most Crab remarkable. Hands. Yeah, there's, there's this pirate named Crab Hands, and he had like a fifty million dollar bounty. And he gets beaten by Horty Jones, and that's the point where we're supposed to be like, "Oh my God, Horty Jones is so badass." He handcuffed Jesus himself. Christ, I just looked up that guy. I completely forgot about him. <laughs> Holy crap! He actually has. I mean, it's one piece. So of course, he has fucking crab hands. But let me just reiterate: Holy fuck, that guy has crab hands. <laughs> yes, yes, he, he was definitely on um, like the D tier of like that, one piece. Uh, he looks D. De- tier like anyone who actually dresses like a pirate is kind of d tier let's be clear about that <laughs> Let's see. That's so f- <laughs> oh my god he does have a crab hand yes yes he fucking does he has a fucking crab hand okay i mean it's one piece so you would expect anyone called crab hand hero <laughs> to have fucking crab hands but Holy shit! That do mostly it's the spikes that make it for me. It's just like the fact that he had a crab hand. Like, okay, that's pretty weird. Why did he have a spiked crab hand? The fuck did he get that? Because so he could spike Is that... people. He. It's funny when Oda like you know makes his terrible character designs that are just like terrible, and you can just sort of tell that they're like D list filler characters, versus like the terrible designs that work really well, like fucking Big News Morgan. God, uh, yeah. we need to see Big News Morgan again. Yeah, we do. Uh, all right, so what are we rating this thing? Um, oh. I give it. I think it was a solid eight chapter. I, I, I enjoyed it. I am getting arc fatigue. Like one thing that really scared me, there was this news article that like Oda said that like it's like we're like one and a half to two years away from Wano. Oh boy, well, th- th- that scares the hell out of me because <laughs> it's like J- Jesus Christ, man, this should have been over a long time ago. Don't don't you had a good thing going with Whole Cake Island? Just like wrap it up. Final thoughts. Um, yeah, all right, for just, me. Um, all right, let's let's start it from here. All right, cool. So yeah, exactly. I'll, <laughs> I'll cut it out in post. Um, so 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 what would you rate this chapter? This uh, well, actually, I'm kind of curious. What would you rate the previous two chapters before this one, and what would you rate this one? Um, hmm. 
I'm gonna go with solid eights. Like they they haven't been terrible for me. I am getting a little bit of arc fatigue, but I am enjoying them. Yeah, yeah. See, um, yeah, I'm just gonna give them eights. I mean, nothing has really stood out. Um, like honestly, the most exciting thing for me about the last three chapters is that Beppo can be a Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, I mean, I, I fucking love that, like, weird stubble baby. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Capone's awful stubble, weird stubble baby who's, like, now become endearing. At first it was weird, but now Capone... God damn, Oda, you, you worked a miracle with Capone. I, I still can't believe it. Lamest supernova to, like, the best one in, like, one arc. Yeah. Oh, oh. Alright, you're back. So, there we uh, go. So, what was your my, my uh, this chapter for me was an eight. Uh, I thought it was a good, solid piece of power up storytelling. The adult uh, Su Long character design is really cool. Even if like her contribution is kind of like negligible, like ripping off a steering wheel of like one uh, battleship doesn't seem like it's going to win the day. But you know, still a cool individual piece of uh, ch- uh, manga. Goro, what was it for you? Eight point five. Yeah, it's eight point five. Uh, I love the song. What is it? Su long, it's Su long transformation, right? Yeah, and now Beppo Super right. Saiyan is now canon. So now, you know, how many more days until we get Beppo Super Saiyan from this chapter? Yeah, like this is this is completely unexpected, and I I yeah. I loved it. Like, yeah. One Piece is still going strong. It's a, it's a great manga. Love it. And right. I'm looking for more Dog Tooth for Sloopy. <laughs> Need <laughs> for that. Dog Tooth for Sloopy. Mm. <laughs> I ever mm. best thing about One Piece mm. <laughs> the greatest mirror match that Oda has ever done hands down <laughs> yeah, yeah. alright so get oh. T-Blocks and use the power of Lobster to get T-Blocks cause like maybe they have a t-shirt for Mr. Crab Hands from One Piece they might <laughs> somebody might have merchandised Mr. Crab Hands yeah <sighs> Would you buy a Mr. Crab Hands figurine if you saw it at like a convention, Scott or Zebel? Hmm. Would you buy a Mr. Crab Hands uh, figurine if you saw it at a convention? I mean, it would depend on how much it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm buying a fifty dollars fucking Crab Hands Giro <laughs> statue. No, that's not fucking happening. But if it was like it was, if it was in a blind box, I would be entertained. Yeah. Like a ten dollar, like a five dollar blind box or something, that would be entertaining. That's fair. Um, all right, so I think that covers all of our thoughts. Your score was uh, eight, 8 or 8.5, Goro? 8.5. All right. 8.5. So remember, go get T-Blocks and get clothing to protect yourself. Use the code LOBSTER, get 10% off your T-Blocks, and then stay tuned because we might figure out a way to give a T-Blocks in a super awesome contest. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah, yeah stay tuned about a contest, potentially. Potentially, yeah. It's gonna be awesome. So does that does that code work for us too? Because I'm actually curious to uh, see yes, how that works. You, you can use it. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm actually like half half tempted to try it. Yeah, I'd be love it. I'd love it if you'd be my first customer. Definitely check it out and use right. the code Lobster off of whatever the hell you want to discount. All right, awesome. Okay. Um. So thank you so much, and remember, lobsters and tennis, but don't you grab it. Do you like clothes but hate shopping? Then t Blocks is the subscription service for you. But I know what you're thinking. But Lobster, how is that any different than Loot Crate or the other subscription services? Well, t Blocks sends you t-shirts, which is clothing, which is actually useful, unlike the useless swag junk that Loot Crate keeps peddling on gullible schmucks. And this isn't just knockoff brand crap. t Blocks hooks you up with licensed shirts for all the stuff you love, because you need clothes. How else are you going to keep your puny human man flesh protected from the elements? T-shirts are useful for any occasion. Wear them. Give them to friends. Give them to enemies. Knit them together. Make a quilt. T-shirts are life. And you know the best part? It'll only cost you $6.99. That's right. You can get 12 shirts sent to you for once a month for only $6.99. And you know what? If ultra-cheap licensed goods are too basic for you, then there's also the Community t Block set, which features original designs from the best up-and-coming artists, so you can keep that hipster street cred. But I'm here to save you even more money! Use the code LOBSTERTBX at checkout and you'll save 10% on any order. Be a t-shirt wearing God amongst mortals. Use the power of the most expensive seafood to get you the cheapest t-shirts now! Lobsters made of lights!